Hello there friends, fantastic video today. I'm showing you how to make an amazing crab cake. Ooh, where did you see how beautiful it is? Stay tuned. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. Stay tuned, we're gonna make this gorgeous crab cake together. Well, hello there friends again. Let me show you how to make this wonderful crab cake. I'm using some jumble up crab, but you can make it with shrimp, you can make it with scallop, you can make it with fish. That technique is the same. This one is really, really special. We are going to make a crust, a crumb with panko. You know, panko is nice and uh, uh, crunchy. You don't have panko, you could use crackers. Crackers work just fine. Cracker crumbs. I'm gonna put some of my uh, roasted garlic salt. You know, when I talk about garlic salt, people think I'm just buying, I'm using the garlic salt you buy at the grocery store. This has nothing to do with it. This is Mediterranean sea salt with roasted garlic. So that's all the only two ingredients. There's garlic and salt, that's it. No uh, chemical, anything. A little bit of herb de Provence. You can put dry, your favorite dry herbs. It's gonna give it a little flavor, very little. We're not looking for a lot of flavors in there, okay? Just very little. Remember, panko has this, no seasoning. Be careful if you're using a, um, a, a breadcrumb that is already seasoned, you may wanna skip the putting the, the salt in it. I like to grind it a little bit because it's finer if you grind it just a little bit. Panko is kind of coarse. Gives you a nice crust on the shrimp, on a chicken, but it is too coarse for a delicate crab cake. So we're gonna run it just a little bit. In the meantime, we are going to make a lot of crab cake. Let me show Just a little bit more. I want it to be very, very, very fine. It's more delicate that way. It's just to give us a nice golden color, but it's very delicate, okay? So that's why I like to do it. Most of the crab cake you see out there, friends, or seafood cakes, I have a seafood cake recipe that you, in, in, in one of our first video we did last year, and you could also look at that video if you like. You watch the same kind of technique. Instead of binding my cake with mayonnaise or, or other binding agent, which, by the way, don't cook so good. I don't like to cook my mayonnaise. They, 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 they're not made to cook. I like to make a mousse, and I'm going to make a mousse with salmon. You don't have to use salmon. You could use shrimp. Uh, you could use uh, any kind of seafood to do this, it'd be great. You could use the crab, but the crab is very expensive, my friends. We're gonna put a little bit of salmon here. I have about a half a pound of salmon. That was just a little too much. And two egg yolks. Two egg yolks, uh, two egg white. Two egg white. A little bit of garlic, a little chopped garlic. All right, and then we're gonna put dill. You don't like dill? You put the cilantro. You don't like cilantro? Put parsley in there. It'll be perfectly fine. Another herb that is quite elegant in there is uh, tarago, okay? Very simple. We just put it right in here, and then we're gonna grind and we're gonna make our mousse. All right, very simple, friend. This is, a, this is how we are going to bind the crab meat together. And like I say, you don't like salmon? Don't worry about it. Don't put it in there. We wanna really grind it so it's nice, and that's gonna be our binding agent. Wanna make sure it's nice. And that's gonna bind the crust together. You see, wonderful. Keep going, keep going. I want it to be nice and smooth. And I think we have it, friends. This is the mousse that we are gonna use. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect, you see? It's got the consistency of a mousse. We're gonna take it. Oh, we're gonna take the break home out of here. And we're gonna take the breadcrumb with us. We're gonna take the mousse with us. And we're gonna go over there. And this is where we got everything ready. So, the crab meat, my friends, I am using jumbalum crab. Look at this, jumbalum, look how beautiful they are. Those are pasteurized crab. When you buy them, they're already in a can. This is the brand that I like to use. It's Philips. It's very expensive. Okay, this is a luxury. It's not something you do every day, friends, but if you're gonna do a crab cake and you wanna make it beautiful, this is one of the best brands to buy. Of course, you can buy fresh, fresh crab. If you're in an area that has fresh crab, by all means, buy it. Uh, this, this pasteurized crab is wonderful. I love it, I've been using it for years. It's called jumbalum. That means there's only beautiful pieces in here. So we're gonna be delicate with this, okay? Because we don't want it to be, uh, we don't want it to break it up. So we're gonna put our mousse in there, you see? And 
Then we got some bell peppers that I, that I cut. And I think we're in good shape right there, friends. This is delicious, by the way. You can make them, and, uh, and, and if you make some extra one, like this is a pound of crab right there, friends. This is a pound of crab. So you can use a pound of shrimp. You cut up in little pieces. You can make it with all salmon, salmon pieces. You can do that as well. Let me move everything out of the way that I don't need. I got some uh, bell peppers, cut very small dice, okay? And then I got some, uh, a little bit of parsley for bright in color, and I love the flavor of it. You can certainly add more dill if you want it in there. I don't want to overdo the dill. Dill is wonderful, but could be a little powerful. So it's up to you, all right? So we're going to mix all this up. And very gently, friends, and you're going to be amazed. And you know the cool part about it, doing it with the egg white, friends, is the egg white is uh, transparent, meaning you don't even know it's in there. And the egg white really works to bind everything, especially when it cooks. When you first do it, see, now be very gentle here, friends, because the last thing we want to do is crumble that jumbo lump that we spend all that money for. It's, like I say, this is very expensive. It's a luxury item. But every so often, we like to make something a little expensive, a little extravagant. It's not every day you're going to do this for dinner. But if you make it with shrimp or if you just make it with fish, friends, uh, it's not expensive at all. Okay, So once in a while, you may want to uh, splurge and, uh, and do it with, um, let me put just a touch more salt and pepper, friends. It's a little bit more salt and pepper because it was very little put in. And this is it, my friends, right there. You see? Be gentle. Now we're going to form this into a beautiful cake. Uh, like I said, be gentle. That's it. That's it. I don't want to do it anymore. Otherwise, I'm going to hurt it. All right. So now, I'm going to use one of them expensive toy. <laughs> Home Depot. This is a plumbing pipe, folks. It's a plumbing pipe. Uh, Three-inch plumbing pipe. Then I cut about three-quarter of an inch thick. Cut it with a hacksaw. Everybody got a hacksaw. Use the sanding paper so you don't cut yourself. And that's what we're going to use. All right? So look, we're going to take a ladle. This happens to be a four-ounce ladle that fits perfectly. So it, it, you're going to have to find a ladle. Then it's going to fit your mold, whatever size mold you're using, friends. You can use a bigger one. You can use a smaller one. Okay? But fits exactly. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to go on a breadcrumb that we made, right? And I'm going to go right in there. You see, it's a really cool technique, okay? Very simple. And then we're going to take it, and we're going to go in like this. We're going to be very delicate, remember, right? Very delicate, right? And then what I like to do is, okay, delicate. First, cover the whole thing. Cover the whole thing, right? right? And then when I'm going to go like this, and I'm going to keep my hands round like I'm making a snowball. You see? Hey, hey you. Come back over here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go, and I'm not going to squeeze it. I'm going to just keep it. See, look, look, I'm keeping it. doesn't matter how much break home you take, because only the one that's sticking to the crab is going to stay, right? So look, all I got to do now is just like this. You see? It's very skip your hands round. Remember, round, 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 right? You see, look, a child could do this, right? Very simple, right? Eh? You notice how simple everything is? Look, beautiful, right? So now we're going to take it. We're going to put it in here, going to put it in here, and we're going to take, hold on, let me take a spatula, and we're going to pack it in. We're going to pack it in. I like it to be nice and flat, okay? This is kind of like the anode in me. I like it to be nice and flat. You see, friends? Nice and flat, okay? And then what you do? You just take it, and voila. You see, that was not complicated. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to turn on the oil, because what we need to do now, friends, we need to get it ready for the oven. So I'm going to make one more. As soon as the oil is hot, we're going to come back, and we're going to, uh, uh, we're going to see them. I'll show you exactly how to do it. First, first, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make one more, and I'm going to put them in the fridge, for 15, 20 minutes. I like them to be a little cold so they congeal a little bit more. And then we'll saute them. So I'll come back after I've made a, a couple more. 
I'm going to uh, refrigerate them so they solidify, they congeal a little more, and then we'll pencil it, we'll pop them in the oven, and I'll be back. Okay, so I'll be back in a couple of minutes. Okay, friends, well, they've been in the fridge. You know, leave them as long as you can. If you can leave them 20 minutes, 30 minutes, so what? Give them an hour. Uh, and if your fridge is not so cold because you got a lot of stuff in there, put them in a the freezer for a little while, 15, 20 minutes. All you want to do is for them to congeal a little bit. Oil, 365 degrees. I'm using my garlic olive oil. It smells fabulous in here. And I'm just going to take them and I'm just going to put them in here. That's all I'm going to do. Put them in here and let them get golden brown. Well, I'm going to make sure the heat is a little hotter, but we're not going to touch them until they're beautiful golden brown. The holy purpose of doing this, friends, is to get them golden brown. If you're going to make them in advance, which I highly recommend for a dinner party, you can, after you get them golden brown, you can put them on a tray like this, and you can put them in the, uh, in the freezer. You can put them in the, in the freezer. When they're cold, then you want to wrap them. If you have a machine to get rid of the air, they'll stay in your freezer for two or three months without any problem. Take them out of the freezer as a hockey puck. Put them in the oven directly. Don't defrost them or nothing. 10, 12 minutes, they're going to be perfectly fine. All right? Remember, I've done it a million times, friends. All right? So we want to let, let them go to Gordon Brown. In the meantime, let me just double check it because, you know, I don't want to, uh, on camera, just overdo it. Okay? I want them golden brown. All right? So I'm going to make an easy sauce, friends. I got mayonnaise. You can make your own mayonnaise. And if you want to know how to make mayonnaise, by all means, check on my video right there to make a mayonnaise in yourself. It's wonderful. If you don't have time, don't worry about it. Okay? I use Duke mayonnaise. I like it. Uh, it's nice. A little bit of sour cream. Okay? And you notice everything is carefully measured. And then we are using a, a demoed mustard, a mustard with a mustard seed on it. Okay? It's going to give us a really, really, really nice uh, sauce. Very simple. A little bit of sriracha or hot sauce, whatever your hot sauce is, friends. Um, a little salt and pepper. All right. A little salt, a little pepper, and then we're going to mix this up. This is the easiest sauce in the world to make, my friends. And I promise you, it's delicious. It's so simple. And everybody kind of likes uh, associated. Let me check it to make sure we're good here. I bet we're good. I got a feeling we're good. Yes. Aha, God bless you. You see? Look at this. Look at this. This is what I'm looking for. You see, friends? They're gorgeous, isn't it? I'm telling you, if you have a dinner party, you make them in advance in the afternoon, put them on a tray. When you're ready for dinner, 375 for 10 minutes max. Everything is going to be perfect. All right, look. Saute them golden brown on both sides. I want to put them on a cookie sheet. I'm using a seal pad. A, uh, if you ever never used those, they are amazing, friends. Uh, and those uh, are made especially for me, the company in France. They are amazing. Uh, they are one millimeter thick. They're not like this uh, flimsy stuff you find everywhere. Look. Okay, it's looking good on the other side as well. Up, voila. We'll put them on a tray. I'm going to pop them in the oven. Really simple. My oven is already preheated. We take this out. It's smoking at 375 degrees. Really, really simple. Make sure your oven is preheated, they're going to be in there about 10 minutes. Whatever I cook, I want it to be internal temperature at about 135, 140. It's going to take 8 to 10 minutes, depends how big you make it. By the way, I ended up making six total with my one pound and all my measurement. I made total of six. I got four of them for dinner. Uh, so I'll be back in a minute when they're cooked, and we're going to play them. All right? So we'll be back in a few minutes. All right, folks. Ten minutes. Let's take them out of the oven. Let me turn my oven off because I always forget to turn the oven off. Well, if I forget a ingredient, you know I'm going to forget my um, my oven off. So I, I have this cool plate, you know, that I have a ring in it. I like it. Uh, the sauce is, um, we don't want it to be too thick. So, but you make it however you want, friends. It's really like there's no, like, uh, rules on this. Um... Yeah, oh, make it thick, make it thin. I like to just feel my um, my ring right here. I got that that little ring, you see? A little ring right there. I like to see it that way, but that, psh, you do whatever you want, my friends, okay? Um, uh, you can make a coolie also with this. It's wonderful. We take it right here. Oh, you know, don't forget, those things are, uh, we got to be uh, gentle. We got to be gentle with this. In the transport, 
I don't want to lose it in the shrimp bowl, okay? And uh, we're going to put it right in here. It's beautiful. Very simple. You see, my friend? So now, you know, you can do so many cool things with it, but not too much. Not too much. You can put a couple of shrimps in there, which makes it look really, really kind of cool. A couple of shrimps, if they want to stay in there, uh, with maybe a, a sprig of dill in there would be kind of cool. You know what? I think I have some dill. Uh, if I'm going to do it, I got to do it nice, my friends. Maybe see. I bet I got some dill in here. Do I have dill? Hello. Yes, I have dill. Beautiful. You see? So we could do this. Mama mia, it's a tree. I don't need a big tree. <laughs> I'm making a video longer. Always. Here we go. All right. So, so right there, my friends, we have ourselves a beautiful crab cake. Elegant, right? Elegant. Or we can do that. Or, or we can do it with a little micro green where we take a little more sauce, right? And we go like this. We can put a little arugula on it also. We can put a bell pepper coolie in there. That would be kind of cool, right? Take the cake. Put it here, and then you can take a little micro microgreen, microgreen. You know those things are like so fragile, right? You put them on here like this, right? Put it on here like this, as a guide, if you will, right? Put your microgreen in there just like this, and you can put a little salt and pepper, a little oil on that microgreen. But sometimes they're just kind of cool. We just leave them alone, and and voila. So you know, it's up to you, my friends. How you like it? There you go. However you like it, you know it's going to be delicious. But I'm going to tell you, I'm going to verify this. <laughs> I'm going to verify this in one second, my friends. So, uh, ah, you know, I'm going to eat with the Michael Green. Okay? Let's look at it. I want to show you the inside of it, friends. That's more important than me eating it. I want to show you the inside. Let me move everything out of the way. You see? Let's see. Look how beautiful that looks. See? It looks gorgeous. And uh, the, the mousse is cooked. Oh. Mmm. Oh. Wait. Until it's not so hot. To test it. Because you're burning yourself. Thank you for watching, my friends. I hope you enjoyed it. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that bell. We'll see you in the next couple of days with another fantastic video. Thanks for watching.